All right, so one more video before I'm done. Uh, hold on, let me take this goofy hood off. You know, it's cold outside. You understand? It is cold outside, but I came back inside. But uh, did you guys listen to Kendrick's new album? I mean, to Pimp a Butterfly. Did you hear that? Did you hear it? Did you hear it? I mean, masterpiece. That that is an art. That's a work of art. Masterpiece. Master. I gotta clap it up for him. I gotta clap it up for him. Now, it's a lot of people out there saying. You know, this album is trash because it doesn't sound like Good Kid, Mad City. I mean, you're not going to get a lot of swimming pools and sing about me's and, I mean, high power. and You're not going to get that every album. I mean, a lot of people came into this, you know, expecting, you know, some bangers. Just a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of brainwashing music that you hear on the radio right now. Getting back to the album now, this is going to be like a review for me. You know, I haven't done one of these before. I'm just trying some new things. You guys got four vlogs for me today, and a four, four, but and then they're not really high quality either. You notice that I'm recording off my phone because you know I don't have a camcorder yet. I don't I, did I say camcorder? Camcorder, really, really, though? No? I don't have a camera. You know, I got I got the camera on my phone. You know, and I'm recording video off that. And if you got a problem with it, then just let me know because I don't care. But I'm just messing with y'all. Uh, you know, it's it's more about my words than the actual. As long as it's in HD, you know, that's all you need. But it's more about my words than the actual picture and whatnot. And, and some goofy people. I watch I watch people uh call people names you know to do vlogs and stuff they just call them all kinds of names and fuss with them on social networks i'm like what do you have a life do you have a life but you know moving on you know a lot of people got upset over this to pimp a butterfly album they said kendrick this shit sucks and i'm like what what do you what are you kidding me now granted some of the songs up there do not stick out like others such as i'd say Free, free. That that was a goofy song. Every it, it, that 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 was a goofy song, but funny at the same time. But you know, the first three songs. I'm gonna tell you this right now. If you don't like the, the funk or anything like that, you're not gonna possibly like this album too well. And so it's easy to see why people don't like it because they used to. I'm in love with the Coco. You know, they used to that all the time. And I mean. And you got Chief Keef out here doing stupid stuff, you know, bang bang, uh, just just stupid stuff. And you know that everybody's used to this, this this gangster mentality. You know, some of them don't even have to live the life, you know, but they feel like they're they're gangster because they listen to the music. Or you know, you put most of them out there on the streets of Compton, you know, they'd be the first one crying trying to get out of there. And, you know, it's just it's just crazy how crazy the American, well, the world itself. You know, we just sit here, we're gullible to everything. I'm not, I'm not gullible. Trust me, I'm not gullible at all. But uh, you know, I, I don't do this gang banging bullshit and goofy ass just killing people. What the hell? You know, you put down here by God. You know, and for those of y'all that don't believe in God, then I mean, I don't know what to tell you. You know, someone had to put you here. You know, someone had to with you. You just didn't spawn out of nowhere. What you think? You a Call of Duty character or something? You think you're a GTA character? You die, come back to life, die, come back to life? No, it's, it's not like that. You know what I mean? But I'm not getting into no religion in this video. You believe what you want, you know, and, and I can respect that. You know, but it's you're, you're entitled, you know. So I ain't got... Don't come here and think I got any problem with you because you believe in certain... You know, things I don't, I don't mind anybody, you know, I believe in what I believe in, you believe what I, which you believe in, you know, and that's how we all live in this world. And a lot of people take very, they get really upset when some somebody don't believe, you know, it, it even to video games, you know, I mean, like I was saying, you're not going to like this album if you don't like uh, change for one thing. And Kendrick, basically what he did was he put a little bit of R&B, funk and all this stuff. He even got the Osley Brothers. You know, helping him on the album. You know, they got he got one of the Osleys actually in the song, and then he got some other people composing the music. If you actually look up the um, credits and stuff, they actually helped him with the album. You know, the whole group, not just the one person that sung in one song, and then the, they had the whole group plus that one person. You know what I mean? Actually helping, 
he had people from the Osley Brothers group, uh, you know, helping him. And the Osley Brothers themselves helping him. And basically what he did was he mixed it in with a, a he mixed in a bunch of genres in together, funk, R and B, you know, and it, it came back into the the lyrics stayed, you know, pretty heavy, but the, the instrumentals they flowed, you know. Uh and, and I have to say the songs that stuck out to me, I, it's hard to single out a, a two or three. But I'm a, I'm a single out the two and three. That's my top my top two on the album would have to be Mortal Man at one and the Black of the Cherry or Black of the Berry. Which one was it? Which one was it? I don't know. I think it was Black of the Berry. I said Black of the Cherry. What what am I talking about? But those two stuck out to me the most. You know what I mean? And then you got people out here saying, you know, I hope. He doesn't, you know, get killed like Tupac did, you know, and you got those type of conspiracies coming up of people, you know, trying to estimate how long it's going to take before he get killed. Because he's he's entering into this thing where, you know, in one of his lyrics, he said he was going to lead the charge, you know, and basically, if you sum the whole album up, it's basically he's going to try to nominate himself to lead the charge against this government and police corruption stuff that's going on right now. Actually, y'all might get a fifth vlog, vlog from me, because I gotta talk about that. I haven't talked about that yet. So you guys might get five of my face. Five of my face pause. But, you know, I don't know why I said pause for that, but still. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. First of all, he, throughout the whole album, you're gonna hear little, little, little stories being told at the end. Little parts of a poem, actually. At the end, he says it's not really a poem. He just wrote it down. But throughout the whole CD, you're going to get told, you know, a part of the story that's going to ultimately come down to Mortal Man. Mortal Man is 12 minutes long. It's a song, but it's only like four minutes or so. The rest of it is him having an interview or talking with, I'm not going to say his name. If you didn't listen to the album yet, I don't want to spoil it for you. But once you listen to Mortal Man all the way through... You'll understand, you know, what's going on and, and what's being said. And, you know, it draws a lot of questions at the end. You know, it does. But, like I said, throughout the whole album, he tells a story through multiple songs. At the end, you'll hear parts of the story, you know. And then what happens is, at the end, he'll put them all together and tell you the full story in Mortal Man after he's done rapping. You know what I mean? And Mortal Man's actually saying... Are you guys still going to be fans of me if the media or somebody tries to corrupt and say that I'm doing this and that? You know, because a lot of people flip the switch up really quick. And he used the MJ situation in Mortal Man. He said uh, he gave us Billy Jean, but you said he touched those kids. You know, and, and, and MJ said he never touched the kids. You know, he's, he... And it's very hard to see how, how he would touch a kid. You know, as passionate as that man was... They just wanted to ruin him, and they ultimately did. They they ran him out, you know, and they ran him out, drove the man crazy, and you know, he killed. Well, I don't know if you could say he killed himself or they killed him. I don't know, you know. But at the end of the day, it's always a mystery, you know, what what really goes on in these big lives of celebrities and stuff, you know. But that's that's no, neither here nor there. That's for another day, another discussion. You know, I don't want to get all into the conspiracies and stuff. Just know that some things aren't what they seem, you know. But getting back on track to the album, like I said, it's not really much to tell you. It's just a great album. You should listen to it. And if you're one of those people that's downloading it for free, don't do it. I mean, this, this, you could, you know those albums that come out? I haven't bought an album since, I don't know when. I don't know. I don't know when the last one I bought. But I haven't, I don't really buy artists work like that anymore because, Everything is always watered down, you know. It's terrible to listen to. You know, just listen to what you're listening to on the radio. And that's why Downwell don't listen to the radio. You know, I got my Absol, Kendrick, you know, J. Cole, you know, Kid Cudi, you know. Just, I got a whole bunch of artists that I listen to that's not really mainstream too, you know. And I don't know. I don't know. But like I was saying... Those two songs stuck out to me, and um, it was a great album altogether. I, I, I would have to give it a 10 out of 10, 
you know, it, when I first listened to those first three, I was like, oh, hell no. Is this going to be the whole album? Because those first three, they they pretty much set the tempo for the whole album. You know, that's the, that's the first thing you listen to, you know. And you're like, I hope his whole album is not going to be, you know, just straight up this whatever it is, you know. And basically it wasn't. But you know, to my surprise, and it actually got really, really, really good. You know, so I advise you, if you haven't heard the album or anything like that, that you skip the first three. You know, if the if the album turned you off, you know, just skip the first three songs and you're good from there. But, uh, I mean, it's, it's a huge message in the album. You know, he's trying to tell you something. It's good for you to listen if you can. I mean... Uh, if you guys hear that, it's 2K. I told you I was just standing in the park. Maybe y'all hear it, maybe you don't. It's that terrible-ass soundtrack, man. For real. Come on, dude. But anyways, this video is long enough. I'm out of here. If you got anything to say about the album, leave it down below. And tell me, tell me what were your favorite songs. Or was the whole album, your, like, the whole album good to you? What would you rate it? Let me know down below. If, if you're new around here, subscribe. I stumbled over my words, so that means this video needs to get turned off immediately. If you're new around here, subscribe. Like the video if you like the video. Comment and let me know what I asked you earlier. And I'm out of here. And make sure you share because I do need to get my viewers back. I need to get my viewers back. You guys need to show some support or I kill you. No, I'm just messing with y'all. Peace out, y'all.